Welcome to the third day of Hearth and Harvest, a virtual experience designed to bring us together this season with friends and family, both near and far. I'm Rachel, director and founder of the Museum of Food and Culture. And I'm Lindsay from the Denver Museum of Nature and Science. Today, we join Dan Fay of Famous Eats in the kitchen to make rock coal, German style red cabbage. Learn about the historical and cultural significance of the dish while cooking. Use the linked recipe to make along with us. These recipes are super easy and you can follow along live with him on this video. So fire up your stove. We're about to get cooking. Today we're going to be making Rotkohl or German style cabbage. This side dish is literally eaten anywhere in Central and Eastern Europe from Russia all the way to Germany and Bavaria, the Netherlands. There's quite a few places that eat this and what it is is it's basically a side dish that has some apple cider, apple cider vinegar, apples of course, red cabbage, and clove are primarily the main ingredients. And it's sweet, it's tangy, it's sour. And it just goes really well with any type of heavy or greasier or fattier meat. So primarily when you think of like pork or rashers or even with like turkey, it's amazing. Brings life kind of to the turkey or to any poultry and or pork dish. So let's go ahead and jump into the recipe. You'll want to quarter the cabbage into four pieces and then thinly slice with a good knife. Once you've sliced up the cabbage, you'll want to measure four packed cups of cabbage. So with this, you just want to add as much as you can in a cup, pack it down there, and then add it to a large bowl. We need one cup of thinly sliced Granny Smith apples. So with this, I'm gonna be using a mandolin. If you don't have a mandolin, you could either use a grater or you could use a knife to very finely slice the apple into matchsticks. Now, not necessarily a traditional ingredient, but I like beets. Um, so we're gonna need a grated beet, roughly about half a cup to three quarters of a cup, and just simply add that to the bowl with the other veggies. In a large Dutch oven or pot, add three tablespoons of butter, your vegetables, and then we're gonna be adding three quarters of a cup of sugar. Now I'm going to be adding about three teaspoons of salt, again salt to your taste. I would probably start with two to three teaspoons and up it from there after cooking. You'll also want to add half a cup of apple cider and then we're going to be adding a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar. Next, pepper to taste using whichever ground pepper that you like. Now the spice that makes this dish is clove, so you could use either whole or ground ground is a lot easier to deal with. If you're using whole, you don't want to have to fish these out, so I use a tea bag. Add the cloves into the tea bag and then twist the end so that way they don't pop out and I just retrieve the tea bag out of the cabbage once I'm done cooking. It's really easy. This is a low and slow recipe, so cover and cook for roughly about 90 minutes on very low at a low simmer. I will say that you want to stir this occasionally throughout the process of cooking. Make sure you just open it up every 10, 15 minutes, give it a stir. You'll notice at 30 minutes, it's too much liquid. I would actually uncover this roughly at the 60 minute marker to leave it uncovered while cooking. And at the 90 minute marker, it should look something like this, where the, the sauce is reduced, there's less liquid, and the cabbage is now fully cooked and ready to serve.
so I've just finished making my rotkohl um, and I'm gonna give this a taste. I did taste it while I was cooking. It's super key, make sure that it's acidic enough for you, sweet enough for you, and spiced well enough for you. So I'm gonna give this a taste. Oh yeah. It should make you like somewhat pucker at the end. Now, you should be able to taste the apples, at least the apple cider. The cabbage and the apples, and I use beets in here as well, they should be completely cooked the way through. There should be a little bit of a bite, but it's a gentle bite. This should not be raw. So you really wanna stew this for about an hour to an hour and 30 minutes. Um, during that time, the cabbage will soak up all the flavor, and even better still, is when you let this set for anywhere between three to six hours after cooking in a refrigerator safe container, let it sit in the fridge before you serve it, reheat it either in a pot or in a microwave, and then serve it alongside your pork or poultry or whatever you're serving. You could use this in lieu of or in pair with cranberry sauce when you're making pork tenderloin or if you're making turkey for Thanksgiving. This dish brings a bright tang and citrus notes and it's sweet and sour and really, I mean, I eat this by itself and it's fantastic. So I hope that you give it a try. I hope that you like the recipe. Please let me know what you think and thanks again and stay safe. Thanks again for watching another episode of Famous Eats. If you like what you see, feel free to comment or give the video a like and to help me out, build the channel out and gain subscribers and awareness, please feel free to subscribe or follow me at Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, or Instagram at Famous Eats. Thanks again and stay safe. And now I'm ready to eat. Huge thank you to Dan for sharing his love of food and cooking with us. We're excited to see you tomorrow for a guided story sharing activity. Join my family as we chat about apples and then lead your own discussion at the table this holiday season. Reminder, if you enjoy today's programming, please consider making a gift to support both of our museums. We'll see you tomorrow.